Former U.S. Vice President Mike Pence. If Ukraine loses, U.S. military will have to go to war with Putin. Former U.S. Vice President Mike Pence believes that American troops will have no choice but to fight Russian invaders in Europe if Vladimir Putin defeats Ukraine. He stated this at an event hosted by the German Marshall Fund of the United States, a think tank. Pence called on the U.S. Congress to approve additional funding for military aid to Ukraine. If Putin defeats Ukraine, I have no doubt in my mind the time would come that he would cross the border into Europe, that our men and women in uniform would have to fight, Pence said. According to him, the Americans will have to fight under Article 5 of the NATO Treaty, under which an attack on one member is an attack on all. And I think what the American people will witness here is nothing short of moral courage here. Speaker Mike Johnson has decided to do what he believes is right and trust the American people with the outcome in this moment. And I commend him for that, Pence said. Pence's comments come as the House fights over whether to advance a foreign aid package that would provide funding for Ukraine. House Speaker Mike Johnson, who has been facing significant pressure from GOP hardliners, has said he will stick with his plan to put the series of foreign aid bills on the floor. Pence also cautioned that a Russian victory would set into motion a domino effect that would embolden authoritarian regimes, suggesting that China would then move toward invading Taiwan. Now's a moment where the United States of America needs to square our shoulders. We need to recognize we are the leader of the free world. And we need to step into this moment, send a deafening message, not just to Russia and Vladimir Putin, Jake, but also renew our support to our cherished ally Israel, support Taiwan and also send a very clear message to the mullahs in Tehran and frankly to President Xi in Beijing that America is going to stand firm for freedom, he said. A blast at an Iraqi military base came from an airstrike from an unknown source, two security sources have told Reuters news agency. At least three people were wounded after five explosions rocked a military base belonging to an Iran-backed militia in Iraq, a local security official told CNN. A U.S. official said it wasn't caused by American military operations, the base is used by Iraq's Popular Mobilization Forces, an umbrella group of dozens of armed groups, and is home to its chief of staff. In a statement, Hash al Shabi said an explosion had inflicted material losses and casualties, without specifying the number of wounded, the group did not confirm any deaths in its initial statement, adding, an explosion occurred at the headquarters of the Popular Mobilization Forces at the Khalsa military base in the Al Mashra district on the highway, north of Babel Governor 8. An investigation team immediately arrived at the scene, and the explosion caused material losses and injuries. We will provide you with the details once the preliminary investigation is completed. Responding to questions from AFP, the security sources would not identify who was responsible or say whether it had been a drone strike, the explosion hit equipment, weapons and vehicles, said the ministry source, there was no immediate claim of responsibility. Factions within the Popular Mobilization Forces took part in rocket and drone attacks on U.S. forces in Iraq in the early months of Israel's Gaza offensive, however, the group stopped the attacks in early February, the blast comes as a time of high tension in the Middle East, as Israel wages war against Hamas in Gaza, after the, the Iran-backed Palestinian militant group launched a deadly incursion into southern Israel in October. Tit-for-tat strikes this month have also brought a decades-long shadow war between Israel and Iran out in the open. Yo Ali! Yo Ali! Yo Ali! Yo Ali! ضربة هنا صارت. آه بيدا.